Hello. My name is Charles, and I'm here to tell you about understanding the deconditioning syndrome. Back pain is an expensive condition in industrialized countries and is the most common cause of limitation in activity for people younger than 45 years of age. Defined as the pain which lasts longer than 12 weeks, back pain is often recognized to be degenerative or traumatic conditions of the spine. The lower back pain, which is the most common back pain experienced by many is considered as chronic after three months since normal tissues heal themselves within 12 weeks or less. A slowed rate of repair in the tissues in the avascular intervertebral disc may impair the resolution of chronic back pain. We need to recognize the fact that pain and inflammation will necessarily reduce joint and muscle tension. Joints, ligaments, discs, bones and muscles all undergo histopathological changes during immobility and the cardiovascular system suffers as well. Patients have different inherent capacity to exercise. The deconditioning syndrome is caused by prolonged reduction of physical activity because of back pain. The aforementioned syndrome is related with the reduction in the strength of the muscles, the mobility of the joints and the fitness of the cardiovascular. The deconditioning, used to characterize the pathologic changes, is another simple method of treatment which can be done by simply having a few days to rest the back which is affected with the pain. However, it must also be seen to it that no too long rest should be done since it would cause the muscles to weak and would eventually hamper the recovery. If the deconditioning syndrome is in the forefront of the doctor of chiropractic's mind, then there is an easy and simultaneous chiropractic care and concern for the patient because chiropractic care can't recondition the already reconditioned tissues. The primary concern and focus of the deconditioning process is to reduce, if not to totally eliminate, the pain. With the deconditioning process, the pain is reduced, the mobility is restored and function is maintained and monitored during the process. It is observed that there is less chiropractic care needed for those doctors of chiropractic who make use of proper exercise and healthy diet in their practice of deconditioning syndrome. Not only do they help the patients recover from their pain, but they also develop a long-term relationship, resulting to a very strong referral base.